Oh, it's a privilege. Please call me Tom. Uh, Tom, Victor. Sorry, I call you Victor. And, and the privilege is mine. It's so amazing to meet you, even virtually. <laughs> it's great to meet you. Congratulations on your extraordinary career thus far. It's really what you've accomplished. Uh, I have great admiration for. Well, thank you. And, you know, I, uh, the movie Top Gun obviously had a huge impact on me. And as much as I want to throw Top Gun quotes at you, I won't. I'm sure you get a lot of that. So thank you, because you had a part in that. Boy, that's, a, that's an honor for me. And I can't wait for you to see the next one, Top Gun Maverick. I can't wait. Oh, it's, I can't wait either. It's an honor. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm ready to show it to you. I can't wait, man. Awesome. So listen, I have, I have a I'm few excited. questions for you, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. Let's do it, Tom. Because obviously you've flown... I guess 40 aircraft over as a test pilot, many different aircrafts, the F-18, it's a naval aviator test pilot. Now flying the Dragon, SpaceX Dragon, how does that compare to that? And what do you think for yourself, what was the most exhilarating aspect? Awesome, you know, the, the Dragon is a, a touchscreen. The displays are also where the controls are. And so that's quite no. different than flying an aircraft with a, a stick and a throttle. And so when I first saw it, I will be honest with you, I was like, I don't know, guys, I need my inceptors. I need something to move around. Uh, but as I yeah. learned more about what the vehicle does and what, it, what its purpose was, the touchscreen actually was wonderful. It worked great. And uh, the most exhilarating part of it all was riding the, the Falcon 9 rocket. It is such a high performing liquid rocket. It's smooth but it really leapt off the pad and we got to the 100 kilometer point and we were all smiles. It was just so amazing. You can really feel the accelerations and decelerations. And then once we got onto the upper stage, the second stage, and you just start building speed, it was, I've pulled G's before in fighter aircraft, but to be able to pull G's for almost 10 minutes straight was just power like I've never experienced, not even launching or landing on a carrier. Really? I've been fortunate. I've, I've, I've got some launches and I landed on carriers on the Roosevelt and uh, that kind of geez, that kind of force coming off there is pretty incredible. What, what was it like in the, with the dragon? What, what, what did it feel like with the Falcon nine? I mean, how many G's were you pulling? And I know you're laying down. Yes. What was that and like? And so it is different in the fighter. The G's go from your head to your toe. And that's why we practice these specific uh, maneuvers to, to keep blood flow to your brain. So you stay conscious and you don't gray out or black out the G in, in, uh, on a rocket launch goes into your chest. And so you, you naturally can, can, uh, sustain more G's in that direction. And, and the G is actually lower. So the maximum G we saw was about four and a half. But what's different in a fighter, you'll experience, I pulled uh, nine G's in a fighter aircraft, but that was only for seconds. And, you know, I've sustained so three to four G's for maybe a minute or a minute and a half in a dogfight, in a turning fight. But in, on the Falcon, but, uh, except for staging and throttle down, you are accelerating the entire way for about nine minutes. It was about eight minutes and 50 or so seconds. I mean, and you're accelerating the entire way because you wind up 200 kilometers above the earth going 17,000 miles per hour. It's an amazing amount of power. And so we, we actually were above three and a half G's for a, about three minutes, which that's which amazing. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I know mean, I've have, I've been fortunate, you know, different aircraft that I've flown is, is those G's and feeling them momentarily nine and a half is, is what I pulled it actually in the F-14, the first top gun, you know, from when we got nine and a half and we, uh, you know, and the new one, we were pulling a lot of different Gs, but to sustain that, I was, I was wondering, because I, I always wanted to know what that rocket and feeling that acceleration where you could actually feel that acceleration the whole time. Do you felt that the whole time, Laration, on the body? You the whole time, it? the whole time. Yes, you know, coming off the pad initially, it feels like a, a very high speed elevator. You know, the first, the first move off the pad, you're not going very fast and you're actually not accelerating very fast but it just continues to pick up. I mean, the entire time you're moving. And at about one minute into the flight, uh, you get to, you're in the region of maximum dynamic pressure, which you hear people say max Q. And that's where you're in the thickest part of the air down low, but you're also going really fast. And that could actually crumple the, the rocket and the spacecraft. So they actually slow down, they throttle the rocket down. And you feel that, you feel yourself, it's like tapping the brakes. And then really what stands out is the throttle up. Then they go back to full power 
And when they do that, it felt like lighting the afterburner in an F-18. I wish I would have been able to feel what it was like in an F-14 because I hear it is quite impressive, but I, I never got to fly that aircraft. But you definitely feel it the entire way up. And then the first stage shuts down after about two and a half minutes. And then we ride the second stage all the way into orbit. And that one starts just at about one G. And so again, it's a very light push, but then you push for another six minutes and about half of that time you're above three Gs. And so your chest is very heavy and you have to focus on breathing, inhale, and then the exhale kind of works itself out, you know, because of the pressure. It is quite amazing. It was a truly incredible experience. I did not know you had to work on that, that inhale. That's incredible. That is extraordinary. 